Hello and welcome to Somerville, South Carolina for game two of the South Carolina High School 4A Baseball Championship where the Swamp Foxes of Ashley Ridge host the visiting Burns High School Rebels. Game two originally scheduled for Thursday night was rained out and then on Friday more of the same, but we're back here on Saturday with a much drier diamond to play on and a possible championship title game on the line for Burns who is here for the third straight season. Head coach Michael Moss will call the shots for Burns. He'll send out to the mound six foot five inch senior Zach Bridgman, the righty, five and one with a 2.38 ERA in the regular season. Also a key player for the Rebels, senior Alec Acevedo. On the year, Acevedo, an impressive 324 average. He drove in 16 runs and also had 16 doubles. The home Swamp Foxes come in standing at 29 and two behind manager BJ Bellish. Bellish is looking to coach his program to its first ever state championship in only its fourth year as a program. He'll get help from senior catcher Nick Bell, who hit a whopping 448 and drove in 39 runs in the regular season. Starting pitcher Patrick makes an impressive 8-1 in the regular season with an ERA of 1.42. He also fans 74 batters. It's going to be a fun one today. The players are smiling and excited to finally play some ball after all of the rain. The coaches meet with the umpires at home plate, so let's take time to acknowledge the starting lineups for both teams, beginning with a visitor from Burns High. You see number six, Reed Rollman, the junior, leading things off. Alex Cunningham, one of the team's pitchers, will bat third. Meanwhile, for Ashley Ridge, they'll have seven seniors in the starting lineup, including the first six batters, beginning with the center fielder, Lorenzo Wright. You see the first baseman, the cleanup hitter, Brian Dye, will be looking to bring him in. Game two of this best of three championship series is about to get underway. Game action and first pitch coming up next. You're watching South Carolina High School League Baseball. And now let's take a look at the Swamp Foxes defense. You see the battery there. Patrick Mace, the pitcher, Nick Bell, the catcher, first base, Brian Dye. Now to your starting action, Patrick Mace on the mound facing Reed Rollman to lead things off. The junior left fielder, Rollman, comes in with a 346 regular season average. You see the lefty, and he pops it up, and that would be out number one. So a good start for Mace. And Burns will now send up Steve Duger, the six foot three inch senior, another lefty, the center fielder. Two strikes, and the umpire calls that strike. Three, so there's the first K for Mace. First righty of the game batting for Burns, Alex Cunningham, pitched in game one. And Mace gets the best of Cunningham. So the game one winning pitcher in Coastal Carolina commit pops out. And that's a 1-2-3 first inning for Mace. Moving to the home half of the first, you see Zach Bridgman on the mound. Bridgman a stellar pitcher this year. That five and one record ERA in the mid twos. Lorenzo Wright, a trio of balls, that's upstairs and a good start for Ashley Ridge as they try and even up this series. So man on first, Billy Siegler, the senior left fielder. That's inside, gets away from the catcher, and Wright comes on down to second base. So a runner in scoring position, nobody out here for the Swamp Foxes. Siegler now, couple of strikes, and the umpire rings him up on the inside corner. So one out, man on first. That brings up the catcher, Nick Bell, and another senior. Three balls, first base open, and Bell with the free pass. First and second now and one down. The cleanup hitter, Brian Dye. You see the lefty, number nine. He'll make some contact here. Couple of runners on. But that's a harmless fly ball. And that's the second out of the inning. Austin Livingston, the third baseman, and the game one starter coming up. At eight strikeouts in game one. 
A Citadel commit. And Livingston would come through. The single to center. That'll bring in Lorenzo Wright. And that'll also bring in the first run of the ball game. Livingston scoots down to second on the throw. Now a couple of ducks on the pond for McCole Furman. First base open. Big spot right here to try and break open this inning. And Furman does just that. The inside pitch, he goes to left. Ryan Snow comes in to score. Livingston as well. And suddenly, Ashley Ridge with a 3-0 lead here in the first inning. Jason Miller in because of a couple of suspensions. Only three at-bats in the regular season. Takes a ball. And the stolen base, Furman now on its second. Miller looking to play the fourth run, but he goes just a bit too far. That's a strikeout swinging with a tag. After an inning, though, 3 0, Ashley Ray. Second inning action now, Luke Hostetler leading things off. The senior with that 446 average, 33 runs driven in. The grounder to short. And the throw, airmail. So Hostetler reaches safely on the first error of the game. That'll bring up the pitcher, Zach Bridgman, looking to help his own cause, a 311 batter in the regular season. Couple of strikes on Bridgman, and that's called strike three. He knew it. The umpire punches him out. Alec Acevedo's turn. Acevedo, the senior, 324 in the regular season. He goes the other way. That's a single to right. And suddenly runners on the corners here for Burns. Taylor Warren now. Big spot, trailing by three. Mason a little bit of trouble. And you see right there, the hit by pitch, that loads them up for the eight hitter. The junior second baseman, Evan Sudif, 391 hitter. And Sudif will come through. The Dustin Pedroia-like single into left. Hostetler comes around. Acevedo as well. And it's now a one-run game. The Swamp Foxes lead trim to 3-2. Colton Korn's turn. The senior right fielder. 321 average. Korn puts it in play. And no reason to even throw that. So that loads the bases up again. And it turns the order over. The leadoff hitter, Reed Rollman. He flew out in the first. That could bring in a run if he could do that again. But instead, look at that. Does he swing? What happens there? It looks like the game's tied up. But a good job by the umpire explaining the situation. Calls it a strike three, a dead ball, and everybody goes back. So no run, it's just an out. So they're still loaded with now two down, and it's still a 3-2 ball game. The two hitter, Steve Duggar, one of the captains, the senior, and he pops it up. So Mace gets out of it without further damage. Three hits, two runs, after one and a half. The Swamp Foxes with a 3-2 lead. Bottom of the second now, Tyler Hamby, the 306 hitter, driven in 11 in the regular season. He puts it in play weekly, and good defense there. You see the flip. So there's the first out of the inning. That brings up Austin Garland, the junior, the nine hitter. Garland, 500 on the regular season. And there's ball four. So a runner on now. Ashley Ridge looking to get a couple of those runs back they just gave up. Order turned over, Lorenzo Wright. He walked in the first. And now the line drive single up the middle. That sets up first and second with one down. Billy Siegler's turn again. The senior struck out in the first inning. Couple of runners on here. Go, 
And Bridgman in some trouble. There's a single to left, and the bases are now loaded. The three hitter, Nick Bell, coming to the plate. Bell walked in the first. A walk would be an RBI here if that happened again. The catcher, though, would do even better than that. Drives it into left. That's a single. That'll score at least one. Garland comes in. There's the speed of Lorenzo Wright. And it's once again a three-run ball game as Ashley Ridge jumps out to the 5-2 lead. Runner still now, second and third for Brian Dye, the cleanup hitter. And the first baseman swings through it. A good pitch from Bridgman, and that's a big second out. Austin Livingston, an RBI single in the first. Has a couple of ducks on the pond here. Puts it in play to the shortstop. The 6-3 ground out, two runs are in though. And after two, a 5-2 Swamp Fox lead. <laughs> Inning number three now, Alex Cunningham coming to the plate. He popped out in the first. Three balls on Cunningham. You see Patrick Mace on the mound. And that's upstairs. Good start for the Rebels. Luke Hostetler now the cleanup hitter. Man on first, nobody out. He reached on that error and scored a run in the second. And Hostetler pulls that down the left field line and that will fall. So it's first and second now and trouble brewing for Patrick Mace. Left to buckle down. He faces the opposing pitcher, Zach Bridgman. 311 hitter in the regular season. Couple of strikes, the righty-righty matchup and the good hard inside pitch. That gets Bridgman swinging. Alec Acevedo, single in the second inning. And he'll pop this one up. The infield fly rule in effect. So the ball's dropped, but no harm, no foul. Two down now, still those runners on first and second. Taylor Warren coming to the plate. He was hit in the second inning. He won't see a pitch here, though. Look at that. The pickoff. Alex Cunningham strays. And just like that, we're heading to the bottom of the third. Still a 5-2 lead. Nicole Furman, that big two-run single in the three-run first inning. He'll lead things off. Gets jammed, puts it in play, and a good job to get Furman at first base. That brings up Jason Miller. Miller struck out in the first. One out, nobody on here. And he puts it in play right up the middle. There's the base hit. And the first batter to reach base here in the home half of the third. Tyler Hamby's turn. The eight hitter, the right fielder. Hamby led off the second with a ground out. And he flies out to right. And look at the attempt at first. Miller got a little too far from the bag. And a good throw may have had him, but he's back safely. Austin Garland's turn. Man on first, two down. Garland walked in the second. He strikes out now. No runs in the third. And it's still a 5-2 Swamp Fox lead. Top of the fourth inning now, Evan Sudith coming up. The 5-2 Ashley Ridge lead. Sudith, big two-run single in that second inning. He grounds it to third. And the good play for the 5-3 out. Colton Korn now coming up. Korn with the infield single in the second inning. Get some lumber on it. But that's a fly out to right. Billy Siegler catches it, thinks there's three outs. They'll have to come on back, Billy. And you see his teammate just smiling, Lorenzo Wright. Reed Rollman now, two outs, nobody on. The hot grounder, good job by Mace. Throws to first, three up, three down. After three and a half, still a 5-2 Ashley Ridge lead. 
Home half of the fourth, the leadoff hitter, Lorenzo Wright. Leading it off here. Some good contact. The shortstop over, makes the play. Good job by Alex Cunningham, the first out of the inning. Billy Siegler now. And Siegler here with one down, puts it in play. And a good job by Sudith to get the second out. Nick Bell's turn, the catcher. A trio of balls. And that's outside, there's ball four. So a runner on here with two down. Bell being a catcher, will be pinch run for. I know all those catcher guys are slow. And here comes Ryan Snow once again. He already has scored a run. The cleanup hitter now, Brian Dye. The first baseman. Just gets a little under it. That's caught in right. After four, still a 5-2 Swamp Fox lead. Top of the fifth inning now, still a 5-2 Swamp Fox lead. Reed Rollman leading things off, two strikes, and that strike three looking on the inside corner. That'll bring up Steve Duggar. And Duggar looking to start a rally. That's ball four. Man on first and a one down. The senior, a 444 hitter in the regular season, he reaches base. Alex Cunningham now, a 410 hitter, great pitcher as well, lines it to short, caught by Jason Miller, great instincts, and look at that. He doubles up, Duggar at first base, and just like that, we're going to the bottom of the fifth. Austin Livingston, the five hitter, leading things off here in the bottom of the fifth to center, and Duggar with the running catch. Good job there by number four. McCall Furman coming up, so far the big hit in the game, back in the first inning, the two run single. Two strikes on Furman, and Bridgman gets him to chase for the second out of the inning. So that'll bring up this seven hitter, Jason Miller, has a hit in the game so far, trying to keep this inning alive. And the shortstop would do just that. The infield single, the hustle. Good stuff there by Jason Miller. Remember, he only had three at bats in the whole regular season. Looking good here. Tyler Hamby now, the eight hitter. Flew out back in the third. And Hamby with the single. So now first and second, the bottom of the order. Causing some havoc right here. Austin Garland. See if he can keep it going. Struck out back in the third. And Garland puts it in play. Up the middle, a good diving attempt. And they're going home. Miller, the play at the plate. The umpire was going to call him out, but then the ball drops and Miller is safe. So it's now a 6-2 ball game. The umpire explaining, never actually made the safe call until there, but a run crosses nonetheless. So the seven, eight, and nine hitters manufacture a run. That brings up the leadoff hitter, Lorenzo Wright, with two outs and two on. And the fielder's choice at second, but the damage is done. Another run comes in, 6-2 after five. Top of the six now, time getting short for Burns if they want to sweep this series and win the championship. Luke Hostetler, singled in the third, does better than that right here, down the left field line. Hostetler digging for two, and he gets in there. So a great start here for the Rebels. The pitcher, Zach Bridgman now coming up. Struck out back in the third. Bridgman will go the other way. That's a single into right. Hostetler moves up to third. So runners on the corners, nobody out. Alec Acevedo. 
popped out back in the third inning. And he gets into that one. Deep left, not deep enough, but it will score Hostetler on the sacrifice fly. So the lead now at three for the Swamp Foxes. As one run was chipped off of it. Taylor Warren now. Man on first, one down. You see the ball in the wild pitch. And the pinch runner, Ryan Viris, moves down to second base. Warren now pops it up to right. That's an out. The second of the inning. Evan Sudith had a single in the second inning. Two strikes on Sudith. Mace looking to get out of it, and he does strike three. And that'll end the threat. One run is in, and it's 6-3, going to the bottom of the six. Billy Siegler leading things off here for Ashley Ridge. And he does so in style. Into left field, that's a leadoff single. Now comes the catcher, Nick Bell. Bell single back in the second inning, walked in the fourth, and he pops it up to center, and look at Duggar with the speed. Another good running catch. So there's your first out of the frame. It's Brian Dye's turn. Dye flew out to end the fourth inning, and he gets under this one as well, and he flies out here. Two outs. Still a man on first for Austin Livingston. Two strikes on Livingston. Bridgman looking to get out of it. That's a strike three. Looking. Don't worry about the runner or the throw. The inning has ended on that cold strike. So after six, it's a 6-3 Ashley Ridge lead. <laughs> Top of the seventh inning now. The last hope for the Rebels as they trail here 6-3. They need at least three runs to keep this thing going. The nine hitter Colton Korn will try and get a rally going. The grounder to short, and there's out number one. Patrick Mace looking for the complete game victory. Six and a third under his belt. The leadoff hitter, Reed Rollman. Roman looking for his first hit of the afternoon, struck out back in the fifth, and he rips that one to right. And that's the first hit for Roman, and a double, keep hope alive for the Rebel. Steve Duggar coming up. Duggar walked back in the fifth. Makes some contact here, into left. And that would wind up being a double for Duggar. No reason to push it. Roman will stop at third base. So a couple of ducks on the pond. You see the meeting at the mound. Seventh inning, Mace stays in the game. Tying run coming to the plate in the form of Alex Cunningham, the great pitcher. He lines one, caught by the third baseman. And a good heady play to get back to third by Roman. So there's a big second out. Luke Hostetler now. You see the righty, the last hope here. Two out, second and third. Hostetler makes contact to left. Right in the triangle, nobody gets it. Two runs will come in, and suddenly, the Swamp Fox lead down to the slimmest of all margins at 6-5. Zach Bridgman, runner on first, two down. The pitcher could be the hero, could end it all with a long ball, pops it up. Brian Dye, the first baseman, makes the catch, and this series is tied at a game apiece, thanks to the 6-5 Ashley Ridge win. Three runs in the first inning, McCall Firm in the big two-run single, they would add two more in the second, Nick Bell with a two-run single, and Patrick Mace, the complete game victory. Once again, the Swamp Foxes with a game two win, 6-5, over the Rebels. Thanks for watching. This has been a production of Play on Sports.